Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino, Friday, April 12th, 2024, pre-market report. Let's start off with this, people. I believe that a false flag attack is imminent, um, and I mean imminent, maybe this weekend here. Uh, we're, we're being set up, in case you don't know, and this is the latest piece of news here. Uh, U.S. is now restricting travel for employees as uh, Israel amid fears of Iran attack. Uh, we know what's really going on here, all of us, uh, and it's just so absolutely evident. Understanding the mechanism here that war must expand. This is designed into the current set of dynamics that are in play right now, and it allows central banks to inflate more so than you can possibly imagine. And uh, we got this word here from our illustrious president here that we all love so much, of course. Uh, we're being set up. And um, again, this is not going to be what it appears to be. Uh, I have no doubt that there is going to be an event in Israel that is going to be blamed on Iran and used as an excuse to expand war. Okay, that, that, that's number one. Now, we can look over at the market and see, kind of get into the mind of the market. Right now, as I am doing this video blog, there's a knee-jerk higher into the dollar, and the 10-year yield is slightly lower. This is exactly what you would expect to see on the cusp of, of an event like this. The, the fear trade, the knee-jerk into the dollar, the uh, flight to safety with regard to debt, uh, and we've covered this before. Um, war, the expansion of war, uh, should, in theory at least, drive cash into the perceived safety of debt, and this would be positive for the stock market. Now, this knee-jerk into the dollar, we've been seeing this for a while now, the Dixie or the relative strength of the dollar, higher, 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 higher. Something is brewing here. This is a language, if you can kind of understand it, and again, again, the game is uh, is tricky, but this is what it appears to me. We are being set up, period, the end, expect an imminent attack, a uh, false flag, of course, um, right here, and we're, we're already being told how this is going to play out. So just, just so you know, uh, our votes don't matter, we have no representation anymore. Uh, just just get used to it. Um, something else I, I want to talk to you guys and girls about, and I want you to do your own research on this, okay? Don't take my word for anything at all. But there are, there are those, as a matter of fact, it's going on right now. There are bills and acts in Congress right now that they're trying to push through, which are directed at, well, your right to free speech. You and I have covered at length for I don't know how long that people here, first of all, they're being led to the slaughter and their liberties, our, our liberties and freedoms are going to be stolen from us in the night. These uh, acts and bills to limit our freedoms and liberties are going to be snuck through in the darkness of the night when no one is paying attention. And then all of a sudden, these are going to become law. So just be on the lookout for this. They, those that are really in power here, okay, uh, and it's not presidents, kings, queens, monarchs, or dictators, uh, are doing everything they can to not only bring the economy to its knees and have us beg for a new system, that's what's really going on here, using war as a scapegoat to uh, point their fingers at, um, we're not being told the truth anywhere, but a big part of this is uh, control. This is all, in fact, the biggest part of this is about control. So again, do your own research on this. Don't take my word for it. There are bills and acts right now being pushed through, or at least they're trying to push these through, that are going to limit your ability to say what's on your mind. And um, again, it's, it's this environment of confusion. Formity. Does this sound familiar to you? This goes way beyond communism here. This is full-on fascism. And uh, people are going to end up, unfortunately, uh, surrendering, willingly surrender their, their liberties and freedoms so they can be taken care of from cradle to grave here. 
um, and it's, uh, it's, it's an astonishing thing to see. This is not the United States of America that you and I know and have loved and some of us have defended. Uh, that's a fact. Anyway, let us let us move forward here. So uh, let, let's share a couple of other interesting uh, pieces of information here. How's this one from today? The Bank of England scraps their outdated inflation forecasting model. What this actually is here, and we've seen this, and this happened here, uh, the, the way that they calculate inflation gets fudged. So the numbers don't appear as real as they actually are. Imagine our shock, you and me. Uh, but no surprise here. You're going to see more of this as well. Again, the the twisting of information, the rigging of information, the faking of it here, uh, the, the propaganda, oh, everything is great, we're all rich, don't, look over here, don't look over there. This is going to be more very more intrusive uh, moving forward so just just be ready for that so they're gonna they're gonna twist these number rounds oh look inflation is coming down it's astonishing yesterday we heard from the IMF as you recall we covered this here the IMF is trying to convince you that inflation is dropping inflation is not dropping by any measure you want to look at use their own numbers inflation is out of control it continues to rise it's going to get much 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 crazier much more higher moving forward as the mechanism of expanding war this is going to happen all right um i believe it's imminent as i said they they need another excuse to expand war to fund war uh and, 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 you know, and to reduce the population of the world. Okay, that's where they, you haven't seen anything yet with regard to population reduction. Okay, just in case you don't know, that's a part of the plan here. Uh, we've been warned, we've been forewarned many, many times that this is the grander plan is to reduce the population of the world. Why? Easier to control. You understand? I, I hope you really do get it. So anyway, um... Going back to the market this morning, we got the 10-year yield down slightly, knee-jerk higher than the dollar, MMRI right on the cusp of red zone. I covered this at length yesterday, uh, what actions you may want to think about taking here with regard to the market, with regard to your positions here. We are going to continue to bet against the debt, become our own central banks, gold and silver getting bid higher this morning, silver especially, cryptos flattish to slightly higher this morning as well. Um, crude oil, look, we've had a hell of a run here. Wait till you see what happens to crude oil because they want to prop this up. Crude oil is the lifeblood of the military industrial complex, all right? They will use any mechanism possible. They don't care how many people they have to slaughter to keep the price propped up of crude oil. So expect these things, okay? The market's smelling it. The market is smelling this here. An imminent false flag attack. Um, and you know how this is going to play out. It's unfortunate. This is what they always do. It's their playbook. You know that. This is nothing new. Uh, just be ready for it. Be prepared for it. This is not going to be a surprise to anyone. Uh, how many times have we called a false flag on this blog right before it happened? Um, multiple times. Go back. I mean, it's too simple. We know what they want. They're going to extort control out of all of us here. And again, it should alarm you that Congress is trying to push forth these bills, these acts to limit your freedoms, to cut off your ability to say what you want to say. Uh, it's very frightening, people. So just, uh, you know, I don't know, write to your congressman or like it's going to matter at all. Again, we have no voice here. You know that uh, in any way, shape or form. Uh, and we have no representation in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the system that you once believed in, does it no longer exists here. Uh, but there are some that believe it does. It's, it's, it's almost laughable, but uh, it's really the truth. Anyway, I want to hear from you on all these topics. Uh, does this surprise you at all? Uh, the inflation forecasting here? They're going to twist this all around, of course. Uh, oh, here's something else I forgot to discuss with you. You're going to love this here. So, you know, our rocket scientist friends, the economists, uh, who are wrong 100% of the time. They don't, they don't exist. You have to understand this is fake. Um, these so-called economists, they're not that stupid, but they want you to think that these people exist and they're looking out for you. So apparently, according to this, uh, this poll of economists, they are confident that Eurozone inflation will fall to 2%. <laughs> 
<laughs> Same thing here in the United States, people. Uh, it's fake. There's, these polls are not real. No one's being polled. This is stuff that's just being made up and, and being utilized as uh, as propaganda here. So anyway, uh, that's that's where we stand. I want to hear from you on all these things. Oh, just by the way, in case you were interested, I've been getting complaints here that my videos are too long. People, I'm gonna, for those of you that are complaining, um, I want to share something with you. The complaint desk has been permanently closed. If you don't like these videos, these videos are too long for you, don't watch! What can I tell you? I don't, I, really, come on people, really, or speed them up, or watch half the video, I don't know. But uh, uh, yeah, I'm not dealing with this here. Complaint desk is closed, all right? This guy here loves you a lot from the heart. Please ponder the things we spoke about here. Uh, comment on these things here. I, uh, I wanna hear from you. Share the video. Get it out there. You got something out of here? A, thum a thumbs up is uh, is always welcome. Again, it lets the algorithms pick up the video. This information gets dispersed. It's up to you if you think people need to hear this stuff. All right. Uh, I will see all of you later, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. I really hope to see you there. Until then, take care of yourselves and take care of each other.